You can see the sebaceous gland represented right over here. You can see its association with the hair follicle. Right over here, it's shown in three dimensions in relief. Here you can see it in section, and so here is a two-dimensional view of the same gland. Now, the oil gland that is associated with the follicle here will dump its secretions in this space right over here that's created thanks to the disintegration of the internal root sheet. And the oil that is secreted by the spacious gland can then travel up along the shaft and go on to the surface of the skin. This is the sudoriferous gland, also simply referred to as the sweat gland. And you can see that this is a tubular gland. This is the location where the sweat would be produced, and then the secretions would travel up towards the surface of the skin through this duct and open up by way of a pore right over here. This is referred to as the corpuscle of touch. So here is the corpuscle of touch. It's also referred to as Meisner's corpuscle. As the term implies, this corpuscle will enable you to detect a mechanical deflection of the skin. You would then experience, of course, its touch. The black squiggly line that you see within the corpuscle represents the nerve ending. So there here is the corpuscle of touch, and you can see the nerve going through this corpuscle, and you can follow this nerve down within this model. So that black line represents a nerve. Another sensory structure which you can find deeper in the skin, actually even in the subcutaneous layer, is a fairly large structure called a paxinian corpuscle or the lamellated corpuscle. So let's take a closer look at it. Here we can see the paxinian or lamellated corpuscle. It is cut open right over here and you can see it has this appearance of cut onion. In the center of the corpuscle you have a nerve and these layers represent connective tissue layers which will respond to mechanical displacements. This vaccinian corpuscle detects pressure on the skin. It is also sensitive to vibration. 